Hi Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. They told me to start with this deck for you. There's a message here. What is for Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, twist and turn. It says carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval. It doesn't always have to be a bad thing to see, you know, it could just be obviously something very unexpected. What is going on for Aquarius? What is this unexpected? It's a seahorse. Oh, the divine masculine. Be confident and assertive. And when I split the deck, I do see go with the flow. Trust where the universe is taking you. And there is a yes here. Okay. What is going on for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And the cards just flipped around. They kind of like moved. There definitely could be messages or communication from a fire sign, specifically a Leo. There may have been a fight with this person in the past. It's not like there was a strong connection between the two of you. Got the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Cups. All right, but there was arguing here, but there's justice. So maybe someone is apologizing or coming back around. Could be someone you haven't spoken to in a little while also. It's kind of what I'm getting. Because it feels like all of a sudden they're showing back up. And are you happy to see this person? I would think you would. The devil. Oh, devil. Three of coins and the five of swords. Wow, I feel like when you guys get along, you guys get along well. You guys are like two peas in a pod. Like you have a lot of the same views. Um, it's like you. this could be twin flame energy because it feels like you guys are very similar in a lot of different areas. And I don't know. When people see you together, it's like they always just assume you're dating or you're going out even if you aren't. I'm getting people could be jealous of you. I don't really get it strongly, but I just kind of get like they think like you guys um, have an easy relationship when maybe it's not always so easy, but waiting for a new beginning. I'm kind of getting someone, yeah, someone could be waiting for a house or something with the four of wands and the ten of coins, wanting to pay for a house or buy, for, buy a house or something like that. This may be something that they were doing while they were gone. Um... Six of coin here. Hang on. Are they paying you? No. Wow. Money may have ran out. Something was something. Because you know what I feel like? I feel like they invested in real estate or something. And then it's kind of like fallen through because of the market or something. They've taken a hit financially. That's kind of what I'm getting this person. Like they may have had a lot of money, but I get like that may not be the same anymore for them. Just so you know, FYI. I heard this person has learned a lot of lessons since they've been gone. I feel like they left, like they thought they were a king or queen or emperor or something, but now they come back as a knight. But they've learned a lot along the way. They could be a Virgo, Gemini. We got, who's that, Scorpio and Sagittarius here. But I feel like they've had to kind of swallow their pride. Something happened here along the way. Like they lost a lot of money. Their, their business went, you know, south. Things just didn't work out the way they were hoping and they're coming back. I get like you're happy to see this person. That's what I'm kind of feeling, but you're kind of nervous or worried because I think the way they left may have been kind of sudden and unexpected and you weren't expecting them to um, show back up. What is this person thinking and feeling? Messages, wondering, you're out, you're in a better place than they are financially, emotionally, just like all together. I feel like they kind of want to work together with you in some way or... See the past... There may have been someone else. This could have been you, the Queen of Wands. I feel like when you guys were together dating, oh, King of Coin here, um, you guys like were, again, like, things just happened when you were together. Things grew. Things were, like, fabulous. Um, you, they brought out the best in you, and you brought out the best in them, but that just went totally south with the Tower card. So, again, I don't know if they went back to an ex or something or why they did what they did. They left, but... The Seven of Swords and you're here, I feel like you don't trust them. Or you're wiser. Some of you, like you're wiser. But you have the Star card, which is your energy here. They secretly want a new beginning or you secretly want a new beginning with them. It's kind of what I'm getting. A new beginning. It could be a Pisces. I feel like they've softened their energy. I kind of feel like they went away, and, like they were an emperor and now they come back like a page and now you kind of hold 
the power and the connection. Not that there should be power struggles and all that, I get it, but you know what I'm saying? It's like you call the shots this time around if, if you want to, you know, if you want to take a chance on this connection again. But again, it looks like you're going to because twists and turns tells me like this person's coming back in and it could kind of turn your world upside down. I don't get it for, it may not be bad. They may be asking for money, so heads up on that. You need to know that. Like they could be wanting to come back in, and get a loan from you, which you know they may never pay back, but, or something like that. So just heads up. What does this person want with Aquarius? What does this person want with Aquarius? A new beginning, but what do they want long term? Do they want something long term with Aquarius? They definitely want the physical connection. There is an emotional connection here, but I would be cautious with this person, Aquarius. I definitely would because this person feels vulnerable, vulnerable right now, and they may feel out in the cold or something. They know that you have feelings for them. You have, they have feelings for you too, but I feel like they're more worried about like their finances and things. They feel like you will instantly be attracted to them again. So this could be a repeat relationship. Let me go to this deck. This deck talks about that. We're going to get a warning for Aquarius, this person coming back around. You're going to have a decision to make, but you already learned the lesson. That's what I'm saying. It's a repeat. This card, it tells me you've been through the cycle with this person. What happened before will probably happen again. You need to have boundaries. So you're getting a warning reading this week about this person coming back around. I'm getting definitely, they could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries. But <clears throat> leap of faith, obsession, rejection. Okay, careful. But I feel like you're savvy this time around. I feel like you made just kind of friendship, friend zone thing. I feel like the seven of swords next to you, did you see that under the deck of the tower? Like this taught you a lot. For some of you, this may have even maybe made you a little bit jaded or cynical, but I don't feel like that strongly. I just feel like you're smart now. You know this person well. So like if they come back around, you some of you may just like ignore them or you may like go out for a drink with them and say, okay, take them out to dinner. We can talk, but you maybe, you know, you can do whatever you want. There's passion here. But again, you the decision is what you're gonna want to do long-term. Let me slow down. Okay. What else is going on for Aquarius this week? I feel like you could have a whirlwind romance is what I kind of get. And then, but know that it's fleeting and won't last. What else does Aquarius need to know? Starfish, it says, trust your instincts, follow your intuition. See, that's another thing. Sometimes these come in testing us or teaching us to trust our intuition. You know when something's off or wrong or this person. Okay. What else does Aquarius need to know at this time? Love number 17, be at peace, passion, star card, the unexpected, yeah. But see what it's showing? This is unexpected. I don't think you expect to hear from this person. They could be on the other side of the world right now. I feel like for some of you, you're, you're looking for love and you want someone that you're passionate about and maybe even hoping for this person to come back. You're gonna get your wish. But you have an eagle eye view or bird's eye view, which you see the bigger picture. So you know their intentions. You know what they're about. Um, trying to pick up another message for you besides this person. But let me see. This person may be a fair male for some of you. Someone who wants to court you. It says professional male. Or maybe they wear a uniform. But they tend to be kind of controlling. And it's all about the money. Okay. Also says taking back power and releasing because like what I'm getting is they may want to come in and try to control you think that they have a spell over you in a sense like not literally but just like like they can come in and just smile and wink and you'll fall. Mm -mm, I think you're in control this time around Aquarius. You call the shots. Okay. Aquarius. I'm getting someone is um Gosh, I'm seeing like a silver car. I don't know if that's significant or it's a Jeep or something, but it looks like a car and it's the color silver. So I don't know if that's something that you own or you're buying or this person drives. I'm also getting something about two weeks from now, you're going somewhere or you're planning, you're getting ready for some sort of like destination or trip, a destination wedding or something. I guess some of you may be flying and you don't like to fly. You hate flying, but you have to fly somewhere. Okay, palm tree. I get you're going somewhere that you, you could basically be driving and it feels like it's supposed to be a vacation or it's not a vacation, but it could be something like that where you're having drinks. It's, it feels like a wedding reception or something like that. Similar. I'm sure there's other things, but 
Let me see here. That car was under the deck. I'm getting some of you will meet someone new, either at like a party, it could be a club, it could be um, some big sort of like picnic or barbecue for like your company or your husband or, well, no, I don't think you'd be dating your husband. Um, or you could be married, but like there's something like that for someone's work, you're going to a work function. It may not be for you, maybe it's a friend. I don't get this person because dating is somebody usually new. You know this past person. Somebody you may also want to be planting trees. I'm actually getting like going to a nursery, going to Home Depot, buying things because we're going into spring and summer, planting a new garden. You may beat someone there. If you like that kind of stuff, I'm also getting maybe wanting to redo your backyard or something, put a waterfall in, add some rocks. And maybe you're going to a class or something, or you can meet someone. I'm getting you're going to meet somebody who has the same interest as you. They have, they're a little bit older, but they have kind of like lighter colored hair. They may even have a beard. They're good looking. They wear like, a, like it seems like with an apron on. They're working there and they have a lot of knowledge about plants and trees and things like that. So I don't, someone, there's love, unconditional love around you, sabotage, rebuilding. Wearing a mask. Careful because this person coming back again is going to wear a mask. It's going to be the same thing. And your heart's healing. You don't want to like undo all the healing work you've done. Okay, so please be aware. This past person is coming in and there's going, they're going to leave again. Okay, they're not there to stay. All right, they're telling me to go to a different deck. What other messages do you have for Aquarius? I'm getting the name Jonathan. So that may be a name of someone you know, a friend's name is what I'm getting. What does Aquarius need to know? There's new love and money. So I would suggest like the past person. Yeah, I see a new offer coming in. This is this right here. I see this person making you very happy. Could be an air or that could be you and a water sign. If you date males, this could be you and them. Wow. Could be somebody you met in the past at a party or something. Could be around the holidays. Maybe you guys didn't really get in touch until now, but three of cups and the six of cups, and it was like something you had to leave quickly from, you had to go home. There could have been somebody that you like met and they could be coming back around. Maybe they're looking up on social media or you run into them again or something like that. But I get like give this person a chance because they may be a great catch. If you're looking for something, it looks like this is long-term. I know not everyone looks for long-term. I know some of you would like a fling or something, but I'm seeing this new person and this one right here is something that may be more long-term if you're looking. This is someone who's a social butterfly. They're physically active. I get they're actually in shape. And yeah, you may, may have met them at a party, but they were also the life of the party. It could have been their birthday. It could have been, um, it could have been your birthday because Aquarius, you had a birthday not too long ago. Could have been around the holidays or something like that. They could also be like in the catering or the food business or something like that. But in the near future, you're gonna see them again. They're very sexy, very major attraction between the two of you. Very, very attractive, uh, attracted to one another, supportive. I get they also work out and have muscles. I see muscles in their arms, but um, it's funny because I see someone moving furniture. So I don't know if you're hiring someone to move furniture, that's you. This person is going to move your furniture. I'm seeing, I don't know why they're showing that, but moving furniture in the future. So some of you are moving, but you, so it looks like you already know you're going to move. So, all right, Chris, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.